Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another Glacial Geek Battle Report. I'm Phil, the Glacial Geek, coming to you here from Savannah Lion Games in Pooler, Georgia, where I'll be fighting a 2,000-point battle between my Dark Angels and Imperial Knight against Marcus's Wah! So the story that we've got going on here today is that uh, this planet was actually home to an, uh, an Imperial Knight uh, household, and they were invaded by an Orc Wah that was coming through the sector, uh, and they were being overrun, and they realized that the that the fight was lost, and that they needed to try to get as many of their uh, knights off planet to protect them so they can continue going forth and fighting for the Imperium. So they sent out a, uh, uh, a Vox cast for, uh, for assistance, and the Dark Angels happened to be in the area and went to go lend their assistance uh, in and hoping to hold back the uh, the Green Tide uh, while they uh, tried to get as many knights out as possible. So that's the story that we've got going on. Uh, the mission that we're going to be playing is just kill points. So we're just going to be trying to kill each other and we're going to gain points uh, for each unit that we destroyed. Uh, so it's not just the, the the number of units that we destroyed, but the points of them. So because he has like way more units, uh, but I've got some very expensive units uh, that if he kills them, they'll get him a lot of points. Uh, so that is the story and that is the mission that we've got going on here. Uh, before we go any further, though, let's show you the two armies that are going to be fighting it out. So for the Dark Angels, I'll be running a battalion detachment and a super heavy auxiliary detachment. Lead off the battalion detachment we have a master with a combi plasma and a power sword we have a talon master and we have a librarian with a force sword which is actually courtesy of brian out of game on chattanooga we have two five-man intercessor squads and one five-man scout squad with bolters we have a nine-man reaver squad with grav shoots and close combat weapons and a five-man reaver squad with grav shoots and bolter carbines we have a three-man Inceptor squad with Assault Bolters. We have a three-man Black Knight squad. We have two five-man Devastator squads. One squad has three Plasma Cannons, and one squad has three Heavy Bolters and an Armorium Cherub. And last but not least, we have a Castellan. And for the Orcs, he'll be running a Brigade Detachment. Leading off that detachment, we have Zadsnark Daripa. We have a War Boss with a Power Claw and a Custom Shooter. And we have a Big Mech with a Custom Force Field and a Big Choppa. For troop choices, we have one 30-man squad of boys with choppas and sluggers, and five 10-man squads of boys with shooters. And the knobs have a various assortment of Power Claws and Big Choppas. We have two five-man squads of commandos. The knobs have power claws. We have a seven-man squad of tank busters with two bomb squigs. We have two seven-man war bike squads with a power claw in each. We have a 15-man squad of storm boys. We have a five-man squad of ludas and a 10-man squad of ludas. We have a tractor cannon. And last but not least, we have a battle wagon with a def roller. All right, so those are the armies going over deployment. I've got my Devastator squad with the heavy bolters in this building over here. I've got my five-man scout squad back here. Inside the building here, I've got my ten, uh, five-man Devastator squad with the uh, plasma cannons as well as my master. I've got the Black Knights down here, the Talon Master behind them. I've got a five-man Intercessor squad. I've got my Librarian here, and I've got my five-man Intercessor squad up in the front there. I've got my Knight Castellan back over here, and in Deep Strike Reserve, I've got my Inceptors and my two Reaver squads. So going over deployment for the Orcs, I've got a 10-man squad. He's got, I've got, he's got a 10-man squad of, uh, of boys over here. Um, he's got the two squads of bikes lined up along here. We've got the big mech right behind them over there. We got Zadsnark Daripa over here. Uh, we've got the uh, squad of Storm Boys right in front. We've got the 30-man squad of boys over on the flank over there. We've got a 10-man squad of boys here. We got another 10-man squad of boys here. We got another 10-man squad of boys here. We've got both squads of Ludas inside the building over here, and we have the tractor cannon uh, right beside him over here. In Deep Strike Reserve, he has his two commando units, and he spent uh, one of the new stratagems for the new codex that just came out literally today when we are filming this, uh, is he put his battle wagon with his war boss, the tank busters, and a 10-man squad of boys into Deep Strike Reserve. That's right. 
deep striking, uh, deep striking, um, uh, deep, deep striking uh, battle wagons are a thing now. So all you Blood Angel players who are very jealous now that you can't deep strike your land raiders, guess what? The orcs can do it. <laughs> so uh, that is the deployment. As of right now, the Dark Angels will have the tactical advantage and will be going first unless my opponent can seize the initiative. Looking for a six. Can he get it? No, close, uh, but no cigar. So uh, we'll come back to you after movement phase for the Dark Angels here on turn one. All right, movement phase for the tactical cowards. I mean, uh, the uh, the Imperial side over here. Uh, my scouts stood still. So did my Devastator squad. So did my intercessors. So did my Devastator squad. So did my master. So did my intercessors. So did my librarian. So did my castellan. Uh, my knights here advanced and uh, ended up moving like four inches. And my... Um, Talamaster moved up over there. So that is going to be it for the movement phase. We will come back to you. Uh, I don't think nothing. My, none of my psychic powers are within range, so we will come back to you with uh, the uh, shooting phase. Oh, but just to let you know, at the beginning of the battle round, uh, my opponent spent uh, three CP. Uh, what's it called? Like forced field projecta, field projecta uh, which means that his big mech with the custom force field, his range is now 18 inches with it, with it, which is pretty, pretty good. So we will come back to you uh, with the shooting phase. All right. So starting off my heavy bolter squad here is going to fire into his storm boys over there. So we've got nine shots from the heavy bolters. The only thing that can reach, these are going to be hitting on threes. All right, pretty good. Actually, exceedingly good. Strength five, toughness uh, four. So looking for uh, threes to wound. Okay. So that is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six wounds at AP minus one. So five up in Volsave. Uh, making one, one of them. So that means that five are dead. My five-man intercessor squad here is going to fire into the storm boys. Hitting on threes. All right, pretty good. Wounding on fours. Uh, getting three wounds at AP minus one, five up in save. Making one, right, is that yep. the six? Yeah, yeah, making one of them. That's the new the new orc dice that I just had to make sure. So that is gonna be making one of them, so two more dead. All right, so now my, uh, my Talonmaster here is going to fire into them as well with his twin heavy bolter. He moves, so hitting on fours. Uh, Rerolling ones because he's within range of my master over there. All right, getting one hit. Uh, that is a wound, though. AP minus one, so five up invul save. They're good. All right, so now my Castellan is going to fire. He's going to put the heavy, uh, the sea, twin siege breakers into the uh, storm boys over there. He's going to put the plasma decimator into the squad of bikes on the right there, and he's going to put the volcano lance into the squad of bikes on the left. So we're going to go with uh, the siege breakers first. So it's going to be four D three shots. Uh, getting two, four, five, six, seven shots. So this is going to be seven shots hitting on threes. Uh, missing two of them, so it's gonna be uh, five hits. These are gonna be strength seven, so looking for threes to wound. Uh, okay, getting two wounds. AP minus, uh, he's got five up in vol saves. Uh, making neither of them, so that's two more dead. And now the plasma decimator is gonna fire into the bike squad on the right there, so it's heavy 2d6 shots. Uh, gonna have seven shots. All right, so I am going to supercharge them. So these are going to be hitting on threes. Uh, okay, those don't explode, but they are misses. So I've got four hits. These are strength eight, so looking for threes to wound. Uh, getting two wounds, AP minus three, so five up in Volsave. Uh, making one, failing one. Two damage, so one is going to be dead. And now the Volcano Lance is going to fire into the squad on the left there. It's uh, heavy D6 shots. Getting two shots, hitting on threes. Uh, <laughs> oh boy. All right, so that is it for the Dark Angels turn here on turn one. Extremely devastating. The minor dent that I put into his green tide over here. Um, so uh, nobody has to take a leadership test because these guys, uh, their leadership is uh, essentially 37 or 36 or something like that because it's all infantry share like the... Uh, the orc boy thing where it's like the number is what their leadership is. So I don't think on a 1d6 plus whatever he lost, he's going to be able to get over 30. So uh, <laughs> so that is going to be it for the Dark Angels turn. We'll come back to you after movement phase for the, uh, the orcs here on turn one. All right, movement phase for the orcs here. His 30-man squad of boys here advanced up the table over this way. 
Uh, he's running the the uh, what are they? Evil the Sun. Evil Sun. So they get plus one to their movement and plus one to their uh, advance uh, advances, which is pretty awesome. Uh, his uh, bikes up here moved and advanced up that way. So did um, uh, what's his face? Zad Snark Da Ripa. His Storm Boys advanced up this way, killing two of them. So they killed just as much as my uh, Castellan did. Uh, his bikes over there moved in advance. The boys there moved in advance. These guys all back here kind of stood where they were, um, basically just spreading out a little bit to take up some more board space. And then his Ludas here uh, mobbed up. So now we've got one 15-man uh, squad of Ludas here ready to uh, shoot some stuff. Uh, the benefit is, is that all of these guys here uh, can still shoot all of their weapons because they've got uh, the ability and without uh, without penalty either because of the fact that they are the uh, because of their uh, their their culture. So it should be pretty cool. Uh, so that is it for the movement phase. We will come back to you with the shooting phase. All right, starting us off, his bike squad here is going to fire into my intercessors over here. Uh, they've got uh, two uh, DACA guns each, so it's going to be six shots each, 36 shots shooting into them. Because of them being evil sons, they don't suffer a penalty for advancing and shooting. So it's going to be 36 shots. These are going to be hitting on fours? Fives. Fives, hitting on fives uh, because they're orcs. Uh, but sixes uh, will explode and give him an additional hit. So looking for fives. All right, we'll come back to you with that. All right, got six sixes, so that's, oh man, six sixes. The devil's over here. Uh, these are gonna be, uh, again, he gets to shoot with them, so getting an additional uh, one hit from that. All right, so we have 15 shots in there. These are going to be uh, wounding strength four, right? Strength five. So, strength five, so wounding on threes. All right, we'll come back to that. All right, so we have 11 uh, wounds onto these guys because they're in cover there. They've got two up armor saves. Uh, failing two of them, so one of my guys is dead. All right, Zad Snark Da Ripa is going to shoot into my Devastator squad over here. That is hitting on, uh, what is it? Hitting on, fitting on five, so he gets one hit. Getting one wound, but making a save. Woo! All right, so now this bike squad is going to fire into this intercessor squad over here. So there's uh, seven of them because my Volcano Lands did nada. So these are going to be uh, hitting on fives. Come back to you with that. Go ahead. So we have 12 sixes here. So these are going to be hitting on, uh, these are also going to be hitting on fives. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll come back to you with that. All right, these are now going to be wounding on threes. All right, we'll come back to that. 12 wounds onto my intercessor squad. They are in cover, so two up saves. Uh, failing one, two, three of them. So one guy's dead and one is left with one wound. All right, his tractor cannon over there is going to shoot into my Black Knights. Guess what? Auto hit. So it's one shot, auto hit, so uh, they're hit. Uh, this is now going to be strength nine, right? Eight. eight, strength eight. So looking for a three to wound. That is a wound. AP minus uh, doesn't matter because it's uh, if it's one or two because they've got a four up in vol save because they advance and they get jank. Uh, so that is not a save. So it's what's the damage? D6. D6 damage. Doing four damage, so one of them is uh, double dead. All right, so now his Ludas over there are going to fire into uh, my uh, heavy bolter bros over here. So let's see how many shots they get. Gonna have three shots each. So we're gonna come back to you with those 45 shots. All right, here comes the 45 shots. These are gonna be hitting on fours. Oh, hitting on fives. I keep trying to give them extra BS for some reason. All right, we'll come back to that. All right, there were eight sixes over there. So these are gonna be also hitting on fives. All right, strength seven. So these are gonna be wounding on threes. All right, we'll come back to you. All right, so that's 13 wounds, AP minus. One. AP minus one, so looking for three up serves. Uh, failing one, two, three of them. So that is going to be three dead guys. All right, that's it for the shooting. On to the charges. His bikers here are going to charge into my intercessors. You're probably thinking, oh, you can't charge, he advanced. Yeah, but also he's got Zad Snark Da Ripa over there that says, yeah, you can. Don't be a git. So here we go. Uh, overwatching from my intercessors. Eight shots hitting on sixes. Oh, yeah, re rolling ones because of Grim Resolve. Oh, that's how you do it. What? They're really, really good. Don't you, don't you give me, give me guff over here. So here we go, five hits. These are going to be wounding on fives. Yeah, there we go. We getting, uh, oh, and the, uh, they're within six inches of uh, the Talonmaster. Getting to re-roll that. 
Back into a one, so that doesn't matter. So we got three at AP minus one. Five. So five ups. Making two of them. See, I told you don't give me guff. I knew you were going to do that. So one of them takes a wound, and then their charge distance is totally in. No. Storm boys are also going to charge into them because they get to reroll Zad Snark to rip, I guess, get in. Uh, six inches should get them in. All right, the bikes are now going to start us off in the fight phase into my intercessors over here. So they've got three attacks each with the choppas. The claw guy is also going to be attacking in there. Uh, so these are going to be hitting on uh, hitting on threes and fours with the claw. So come back to that. All right, so these are now going to be strength five, right? Or strength four? Uh, yeah, strength four. So these are going to be wounding on fours. All right, so getting one, two, three, four, five wounds. We've got five AP nothing, right, on the on the choppas? Yeah, so looking for five three-up saves. Uh, failing two of them, another guy dead. All right, so now the Storm Boys are going to attack back over here. These are going to be hitting on uh, threes as well. All righty. So having a few misses there. These are now going to be strength four, so looking for fours to wound. Oh, those are the claw. So those are going to be wounding on twos. All right, so the claws go through. Uh, really good there. So we've got five regular wounds, five three-up saves. Uh, failing two of them, another guy dead from that. And then two at AP minus three, so there's gonna be two six-ups. Show me them fill face. Oh, uh, that one's cocked, even though it wanted to be a fill face. Oh, yeah, it comes up. The dice do what they wanna do. Woo! All right, D3 damage on that claw. Two, so that's another guy dead, but you know, I'm still wooed on that, whatever. <laughs> All right, now Sergeant's gonna attack into the Storm Boys because he's the only one left. Three attacks hitting on threes. That is one hit, wounding on a four. Getting a wound, regular save. No, dead Storm Boy. All right, so we have one leadership test to take over here. We've got onto my Sergeant, he lost four guys there, so four plus. Uh, one is good to go. So that's going to be it for the, uh, oh, and these guys over here, they lost three as well. Three plus six is nine. That would be running, but they know no fear. So here we go. Told you that they know no fear. <laughs> so that is going to be uh, it for the orcs turn here on turn one. We'll come back to you after movement phase for the dark angels on turn two. All right, movement phase for the Dark Angels here on turn two. Scout stood still, Devastator stood still, Devastator stood still, so did my master, so did my biker, so did my talent master. My knight moved up 10 inches closer to his guys. These intercessors over here stood still, so did my librarian. And out of deep strike came my, uh, these are the five uh, reavers with the um, uh, bolt carbines, that's the words I was looking for. I also got the three uh, inter uh, inceptors over here and the nine intercessors over here feeling feeling uh, peaky today. See what happens over there. So that is going to be the movement phase. We'll come back to you with the psychic phase. So first things first, I'm going to cast a version from here onto this squad over here. So it's looking for a six. Uh, doesn't go off. And uh, now he's gonna smite him. Uh, going off with a seven, so D3 mortal wounds. Two mortal wounds, bye bye bike. All right, my Reavers are gonna fire their heavy bolt pistols into his 30 man squad of boys over here. Hitting on threes. All righty. Wounding on fours. All right, so that's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six wounds at AP minus one. Oh, they're just six up saves? Oh snap, crazy. All right, now my Inceptors are gonna fire into them with their Assault Bolters. We've got 18 shots between them, hitting on threes. We'll come back to that. 14 hits, wounding on threes. All righty, so that is going to be three, uh, six, nine, uh, 10, 11 wounds at AP minus one. So it's 11 dead bros. All right, so now my Devastator squad's gonna shoot into his bikers over here. I'm gonna fire the plasma cannons first. These are going to be, uh, these are gonna be 3d3 shots each, or 1d3. <laughs> I already messed this up once, I'm doing it again. It's gonna be 1d3 shots each. Uh, the one that's the black one here, this is gonna have the signum on it. So these are gonna be d3 shots each. All right, so one with the signum, one with not a signum, and then uh, three from the other one. All right, so we're gonna start off with the one with the signum hitting on a two That is a hit. We've then got the uh, the other one with the one uh, Rerolling ones because of the uh, the master there 
All right, that is not a hit, but not a blow up, which is nice. And then three shots from the other one. Uh, that is uh, not going to reroll there, so that's going to be three total hits. These are strength eight because I supercharged. Uh, wounding on threes. Uh, rerolling ones because of the Talonmaster. So that's going to be two wounds at AP minus three. Uh, that's just going to go straight through, so that's going to be two damage so that's two dead bikes. And then the bolter and the bolt pistol from the sergeant are going to fire. Uh, those are all hits. Of course, they're all hits. Uh, not wounded on those, that's for sure. Now my master is going to fire into him. He's going to supercharge his plasma because I like living on the edge. So it's two shots hitting on twos. That's hits. Wound on threes. That's one wound, uh, two de damage, so that's another dead bike. All right, so now my Black Knights are gonna fire into them over there. So it's gonna have uh, four shots here, hitting on threes, supercharging, re-rolling ones because of Grim Resolve. So that is going to be four hits, wounding on threes. That is all wounds, so that is the rest of those bikes dead. All right, my Talon Master is going to fire into his Storm Boy. Oh, Storm Boy's over there with everything. So we've got uh, six shots from the tw uh, Twin Heavy Bolter. These are going to be hitting on threes because he didn't move. All right, not rolling twos, so that's going to be four hits. Wounding on threes. Uh, that is re-rolling ones because of himself. So that is four wounds at AP minus one into those Storm Boys over there. And they are dead. So now my intercessors here are going to fire into his bikes over there. So we've got eight shots, rapid firing, hitting on threes. Rerolling ones because of Grim Resolve. All right, so that's going to be uh, one miss. These are going to be strength four, looking for fives to wound. Uh, getting one, two, three wounds at AP minus one. So what do we got there? Three, three five ups. Uh, making two of them. One takes a wound. All right, so now this Devastator squad is going to fire into Zad Snark Daripa. He's the closest now. I'm going to spend a command point for uh, Hellfire rounds. Let's see if I get the command point back. I do, in fact, get it back. Uh, so that's the only one I can get back this turn. So that's going to be that one. The greens are going to be the other uh, the other uh, heavy bolter firing in there. So he's going to be hitting on three. Since my sergeant's dead, nobody gets a signal. Alrighty, so we got two from the regular one. D3 mortal wounds from this, giving one mortal wound. I'm going to spend a command point to reroll that. Giving two mortal wounds. And then I've got the two, five, strength five, toughness five, or toughness six? Six, so looking for fives to wound. Uh, getting one wound, AP minus one. Five up. Five up. No, it takes another wound, so two, uh, three total wounds. Popping the Armorium Cherub to shoot again with the Hellfire rounds, hitting on a three. Yeah, that's a hit. D3 mortal wounds. One mortal wound. All right, so now my Knight Castellan's going to fire. I'm going to spend three command points because of the new FAQ on Oathbreaker Guidance System to shoot one of my Shieldbreaker missiles into Zadsnark Doripa. I'm also going to fire the Plasma Obliterators. I'm going to fire the Plasma Obliterator. Decimator? Decimator, something like that. Uh, the Volcano uh, thingy and also the twin meltas into his bikers here, and I'm gonna shoot uh, the siege breakers into his boys back over there. So we're gonna go with the Oathbreaker, uh, Oathbreaker guidance system into him with the shield breaker uh, missile. So this is going to be hitting on a three. That is a hit, so it's strength uh, something, hold on. All right, so strength 10, he's tough to six, so looking for a three to wound. That is a wound, so it's AP minus four. No invul saves can be taken, so it goes straight through. D6 wounds, he's got what, six wounds left or? Four wounds left, so here we go. Two wounds, boop. All right, so now we got the Siege Breaker cannons into Du Bois back there, so it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be four D3 uh, shots. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight shots total. These are going to be uh, hitting on threes. All right, wounding on uh, twos. I think twos, one second. No, strength seven, wounding on threes. So that's going to be uh, one, two, three, uh, four, five, six uh, wounds over there. Uh, so that's just gonna be six dead boys. And now the twin meltas are gonna fire into the bikers over there. So it's gonna be four shots hitting on threes. All righty, wounding on threes. All right, so that's going to be going three straight through because it's strength, uh, it's a AP minus four. So we're going to have the first one does three damage, so it kills a guy, and three damage, so it kills a guy. 
Six damage and five damage, but either which way, two dead bikers. <laughs> now the volcano lance is gonna fire over there. Heavy D6. Getting three shots. These are gonna be hitting on threes. Uh, so that's all hits. Wounding on twos, because it's strength 14, toughness five. Uh, so that's gonna be three that goes straight through. They're uh, three D3 damage each, so it's gonna be uh, enough to kill a guy each. And now my plasma decimator is gonna fire into him. Heavy two D6, so three shots. Hitting on threes. Uh, that is one uh, hit. This is going to be uh, wounding on a three. No. Oh, uh, yes, a wound, but only doing one damage. All right, so now the assault carbines from this squad are going to fire into Du Bois back over here. So we got 10 shots hitting on threes. All right, not rerolling nothing because they did move. These are going to be wounding on fours. Uh, okay, so two wounds. Two regular saves onto those boys back there. Sixes. Sixes, making one, failing one. All right, so now that's it for the shooting phase into the assault phase. My Reavers here are gonna charge into his boys over here. He's gonna fire Overwatch, hitting on sixes. All right, getting uh, two hits there. So he gets two more shots because of Daka Daka. Not getting another hit though. So that's two hits, looking for uh, threes to wound. No, no wounds there. So I need a nine inch charge to get in. Uh, not getting, I'm gonna spend a command point to reroll that. No, still not getting in. All right, so that is it for the uh, the turn here for the Dark Angels. Uh, we have some leadership tests to take. This uh, uh, bike here lost six guys in the squad. Six plus uh, three is uh, enough for him to run away. Uh, these boys here lost six guys. So six plus uh, three is nine. So uh, two go away. Uh, and then uh, we'll come back to you with the other one. And my opponent is going to spend two command points to make this uh, boy squad uh, not run away. Uh, so that is going to be it for the Dark Angels turn here on turn two. Uh, we'll come back to you after movement phase for the orcs on turn two. All right, movement phase for the orcs here on turn two. Uh, these boys moved up towards these boys. These boys moved up towards them, uh, them Reaver boys. These boys moved up towards them Reaver boys. Uh, the uh, All of his shooty stuff over here stood still so that they don't have to suffer any penalties. Uh, the conga line of orcs here are moving up this way. These orcs around here uh, did an advance to run up this way. And Zadsnark also advanced around them over this way. So he's over here, but within six inches of them so they can still charge. Uh, out of deep strike reserve, he brought his uh, commandos over here. And he also deep struck his... Uh, Battle wagon. Battle wagon. I keep wanting to say war truck, and I like they're yeah. synonyms for each of the word, but it's not not right. <laughs> so just like flat, not right. So <laughs> battle wagon, <laughs> deep struck over here, uh, nine inches away from them over here. So yeah, <laughs> war conveyance tr uh, vehicle, <laughs> uh, deep struck over here. So that is oh, and is uh, and is. Um, Big mech over here moved up over this way. So that is going to be it for the movement phase. We'll come back to you with the DACA phase. All right, starting off the DACA phase, these boys are going to shoot into my Reavers over here. So we've got five guys that were in range, right? Mm -hmm. So these are going to be hitting on fives, getting one hit. No sixes to reroll. <laughs> That is uh, no wound. All right, this squad of boys is going to fire into my Devastator squad over here. So these are going to be hitting on fives. Sixes get to get another shot there. So that's another shot he gets to make there. All righty. So getting uh, two hits total. These are going to be hit wounding on. Uh, those are two wounds. Making them saves. Oh, with the fill faces. Woo! Zatsnark Doripa is going to fire into my Devastator squad over here. So hitting on fives. Mm -hmm. All right. Does he get Daka Daka Daka? He, he sure does, does indeed. Yeah. Does that? Oh, but it doesn't explode again, no. right? Yeah. So it's just gonna be three hits. So unfortunate. Looking for uh, threes to wounds. That's two wounds. AP minus nothing. So two up saves. Uh, woo, making them both barely, but I'll take it. All right, so all of these boys here, so this squad, this squad, and this squad are going to fire into my Reavers over here. Uh, they don't have any other targets, so we may as well just shoot them all at the same time uh, because lots of dice are fun. So here we go. These are going to be hitting on uh, fives. Mm -hmm. You want to say threes, but they're not Space Marines. All right, so you got eight sixes, so getting to roll again because of Deca, Deca, Deca. All right. All right, these are going to be wounding on three, uh, fours. All right, we'll come back to you. All right, so it's eight wounds. Looking for two up saves because they're in cover. Uh, making them all. Woo! 
All right, my librarian forgot to check his back, and here come some orc commandos who were uh, actually disguised as bushes back here, and they're going to be firing into my uh, into my librarian over there. So these are going to be hitting on fives. Okay. That was cocked. That's fine. So one hit, but a daka daka. Daka daka. One hit, one wound. Uh, cocked. Oh, takes a wound. All right, the boys in the truck here are gonna fire into my uh, into the intercessors over here. These are gonna be hitting on fives. Mm -hmm. All right, three sixes. So daka daka daka. Ooh. All right, wounding on fours. Uh, getting two wounds. Two, two up saves. Uh, failing one. All right, his tractor cannon is gonna fire into my knight over here. So he's going to uh, hit. <laughs> Strength nine. So looking for a three to wound. Oh, strength eight, so looking for a four to wound. One will not be a wound. All right, so now the tank busters inside of here are gonna fire into my knight over here. Uh, my opponent spent two command points for more DACA, which means that DACA, DACA, DACA triggers on fives and sixes, uh, as well as the just the sixes. So uh, here he goes. Um, and they also get to reroll failed hits against vehicles, which uh, so it just so happens he's a vehicle. So here we go. Those are going to be the tank busters. These are going to be the bomb squigs. These are going to be hitting on twos and fives. All right. So that one is a hit, but the the, the, the bomb squigs get daka daka daka. Yes, they do. They do. So he gets another uh, roll with the. We'll come back to you with this. <laughs> All right. So these are rerolling the misses uh, because of uh, more daka. All righty. So getting uh, four hits with the with them with the tank busters. And getting to get uh, four extra shots with the tank buses, one extra shot with the bomb squig because of uh, daka daka daka. So here come um, those uh, rolls. All right, getting to re-roll all of these failed shots. That no, that, that was that was oh, that's right because they yeah, hit on two. Good point. Good point. Sorry. Bomb squigs hit on twos. All right. Cocked. All right. So here we go. These are all the hits. We think we did it right. <laughs> we think we're pretty good. All right. All right, so everything is strength eight. So these are all going to be wounding on fours. All right. So we got. Uh, oh, command we're going to spend a command point reroll again with a. Do you want a, one of these or do you want the D six from the uh, the bomb squig? Uh, you're probably right. All right, he's going to do the bomb squig one. <laughs> you tricked. Into a wound. No, I didn't trick you. I got you there. You, I got your back. I got your back. All right, so we're going to have five of invul saves. We'll do the ones against the tank busters first. Uh, failing both of those, so he takes six damage from those. Then I've got the three from the bomb squigs. Uh, making two of those, so I failed one of those. So D6 from the bomb squig is into a six. So that's going to be six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve wounds onto him. Brutal. <laughs> All right, so now his lootas over here are going to fire into my reavers over here. So he's going to have D3 shots for them. Going to be one shot each. <laughs> All right, so we got 15 shots here. These are going to be hitting on fives and sixes. All right, those sixes get to re, uh, get to do more shots there because of that. All right, not meant to be. All right, four hits, strength five. Strength seven. Strength seven, so wounding on threes. So one wound, and I forgot to bring a dice with me, so over here. One wound, looking for a three up, uh, AP minus one. So four up save. Oh, make it with a fill face. Woo! All right, so that's it for shooting phase. Into the assault phase, his truck here is going to charge into uh, my librarian and my intercessor over here. Did you say you were going to use that the stratagem for the? Nope, not going to do the three d six charge here. So he's just going to be doing regular charge. Uh, bolt pistol is going to have the uh, the black there from the uh, librarian hitting on sixes. Uh, they stood still, so re-rolling ones because of Grim Resolve. Cool, cool, cool. No hits. Uh, his charge distance, looking for a 9-inch charge to get in. Getting in with a 10. Plus 1 becomes an 11 because of him being uh, evil evil sons. Yeah, got it right. All right, so now these guys here are going to charge into uh, my librarian over there. Needed a 9-inch charge to get in. Uh, not making it. So I can reroll one. Okay, here we go. He can really roll one or both. He's going to reroll both. Fold strategy cotton. Uh, making it though with an 11 cocked, plus one. That was not cocked. Made me do that was good. Oh, See, it was meant to be. Just let me tell you. Let me tell you. When will you understand that I am always right? All right, these boys over here are going to charge into my Reavers. Firing Overwatch. Uh, getting uh, one hit. 
That is a wound. What's up? Uh, they didn't stay still in the movement phase. They dropped in last turn. Yeah, it seems like a long time ago because we've had a lot of shooting, but no. Uh, nope, he is going to be dead boy there, and then their charge distance is totally in. Now this squad's going to charge on in. Oh, look, they're in. And we've got a long bomb charge over here looking for a 7-inch charge to get in. Oh, and they are in. All right, so now the boys here are going to charge into my Reavers and into my Devastator squad. So we'll go with the Reavers first. Nine shots hitting on sixes. Not getting any rerolls because they moved. No hits there. So then we've got the heavy bolter shots. Going to have nine, uh, six shots from them. Uh, they do get to reroll ones, but I didn't roll any ones. So I got one hit. That is one wound at AP minus one. So one of them boys is dead. And their charge distance is in. Here we go. He's going to reroll that two because oh, he's going to reroll both. Uh, wow. Really in. All right. So now Zad Snark is going to charge into my Inceptors over here. Looking for sixes. Getting one, two, three, four uh, sixes. These are now going to be uh, wounding on fives. Getting two wounds. AP minus one. Two five ups. Wrong dice. Wrong dice. <laughs> They're only for charging. Uh, Reroll that one. Oh, how, dare you. I, how dare I? Oh, and he fails. You want to spend a command point to reroll one of those? To keep him alive? It's that snark. Uh, sure. Yeah, he's going to spend a command point to reroll it. I talked him into it. Oh, wow. yeah. no. <laughs> That's what I told you. They're only for charging those orc dice. Oh, you still would have died. Okay, all right. <laughs> All right, into the fight phase. He's going to activate these boys first. They're going to attack into the uh, into my heavy bolter guys over there. Hitting on threes. All right, wounding on uh, strength four. Mm -hmm. So looking for fours to wound. Getting uh, one, two, three, four, five wounds. AP, anything? Nope. No AP, so three up serves. Uh, failing one of them. One's dead. We got seven orcs over here into my reavers, including the one with the uh, claw. That's going to be the black dice hitting on threes and fours. All right, these are going to be wounding on fours. All right, ten wounds, looking for three ups. Failing one, two. So one guy is dead. All right, I'm going to spend two command points to activate my librarian. He's going to attack into the commandos over here. So we're going to have three attacks hitting on uh, threes. Uh, getting two hits, strength four, so looking for fours to wound. Uh, that is two wounds at AP minus three, so that's just going to be two dead boys. <laughs> All right, so now his commandos are going to attack into my librarian over here. These are going to be hitting on threes. All right, or threes and fours because it's the claw. Uh, he gets plus one to wound. Uh, with commandos get plus one to wound with their close combat weapons against units that are uh, fully within uh, cover there. So these are going to be wounding on threes and twos. Threes and ones. Uh, see, that's what you get for, for tempting the dice there. So that's going to be two at AP minus three. Uh, so two six-up saves. Making one, failing one. All right, D3 wounds. Here we go. Oh, three, he's dead. Oh, God. All right, so now his <laughs> battle wagon. Ha ha, I got it. I still wanted to say war truck again. His battle wagon is going to attack into my intercessors over here. He's got six attacks. Hitting on twos because of the death roller over here. All right, that's, uh, that's, that's fair over there. Uh, oh, packed over there. So that's going to be three hits. These are going to be strength nine, so wounding on twos. All right, so that is three wounds, AP minus, what was it again? AP minus two, so we've got three five-up saves. Uh, fa making one, failing two, so what's the damage on that? Two apiece, so that's going to kill two of my guys. All right, now these boys over here are going to attack into my Reavers. Uh, they're going to go with the regular boys first, the knobs will come second. We're going to do them all together because I can't interrupt anymore. So this is going to be 32 from the regular boys, hitting on uh, threes. All right, so these are now going to be wounding on fours. Come back to you. All right, we've got 10 three up saves. Failing one, two, three of them. So one's dead and one takes a wound. All right, so now we have the big choppers and the power claws coming in. We've got uh, two big choppers, which are going to be the red and one power claw, hitting on threes and fours. All right, no claws, but we got those choppers. Strength, what is this? Uh, seven. Strength seven, so looking for threes to wound. Getting one, two, three, four wounds. AP. 
AP minus one, so looking for four ups. Uh, making three of them, failing once, that's another guy dead. All right, so now my Reavers are going to attack back into the boys. I've got 25 attacks because they're three base, or two base each, except for the sergeant has three, plus one because of combat knives. So these are going to be hitting on threes. We'll come back to you. All right, these are now going to be wounding on fours. Uh, that one's cock, so is that one. Uh, <laughs> they missed again. Calm yourself over here. <laughs> All right, so we've got uh, five, six, seven, eight wounds over here. Uh, so these are going to be uh, looking for sixes. Getting one, so seven dead boys. And my heavy bolter guy is going to punch one in the face. No, he's not. <laughs> All right, my intercessor sergeant is going to attack into the uh, into the truck over there. There's three attacks hitting on threes. Uh, getting one hit. Strength, toughness, eight. Tough seven, so looking for five to wound. No, no wound. Two attacks each, and the sergeant gets three. We'll put him into the squad over here. Make it easy. Four hits. Uh, one, two, three wounds. Uh, two dead orcs. All right, so at the end, I have to take a leadership test over here. I lost three guys in that squad. Three plus two is good to go. Uh, these orcs over here, they lost seven, right? So uh, just roll. See how many else they lose? They lose six more. Yeah, uh, you want to spend a command point? Because that's going to be the squad. Well, right? Because they're leadership seven? Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to lose it. He's just going to lose the squad over there. Yeah. All right, so that is the end of the, uh, the, uh, the orcs' turn here on turn two. So we'll come back to you after movement phase for the Dark Angels on turn, uh, turn three. Movement phase for the Dark Angels here. This dev squad on my master stood still. Uh, this scout squad moved up. My dev squad here stood still. These guys all moved up over here. Um, the uh, Talonmaster advanced up. I spent a command point on Speed of the Raven, and then he and I got the command point back. Uh, and then I've got the bikers up there uh, advanced up as well. He's locked in combat over here. Can't really fall back from him. He moved up slightly. Uh, these guys stayed in combat, and that is it. So we'll come back to you with the shooting phase. My Devastator squad is going to start us off by firing into the boys over there. So we're going to go with the plasma cannons. This the this black dice is going to have the signum, so D threes each. So two for him, and one each for the other ones. So we'll just roll these all together. They're going to uh, they're uh, hitting on uh, threes. All right, all hits. Strength seven. So looking for threes to wound. Uh, getting three wounds. That's three dead boys. All right, so now my Inceptors are going to fire into the boys over there. Hitting on threes. Not rerolling anything because uh, they moved. These are now going to be wounding on four uh, threes. Okay, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six dead boys because it's AP minus one. All right, so now my Talon Master is going to fire every... He's going to put the Heavy Bolter into those two boys over there, and he's going to put the Twin Assault Cannon into the Ludas. So we'll do the Heavy Bolter first, hitting on fours because he moved. All right, wounding on threes. Oh, uh, yeah, they did. And now the Twin Assault Cannon into the Ludas over there. We got uh, 12 shots here hitting on fours. Uh, okay... Okay, real good, real good over there. Uh, three hits, wounding on uh, threes. Uh, getting two wounds at AP minus one, plus one because they're in cover. So two sixes. Uh, that is one saved, one failed. All right, so now my knight's going to shoot. He's going to put uh, the Volcano Lance into uh, his cannon over there and everything else into the Ludas. So uh, we're going to go with the shield, uh, the uh, Siege Breaker cannons first. So it's going to be uh, two D, uh, four D6, uh, D3 shots. <laughs> Man, it's easy for me. Words, 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 safe words. <laughs> so we've got five shots here. These are going to be hitting on threes because he's still in the top profile. All right, wounding on uh, threes. All right, that's going to be three wounds at AP minus, I think, more than two. So it's going to be, I think that's just uh, going to be three dead guys. My bad is AP minus one, so he does get uh, three six-up saves. No, they did already. All right, the Volcano Lance, D6 shots, two shots, hitting on threes. That is two uh, hits. Uh, strength 10 so or no strength 14 sorry they're not it's not tough what's this tough five, tough five, tough five. five so still wounding on twos uh, that is two wounds AP minus five 
uh, 3d3 damage a piece. So they have six wounds. So I 3d3. Oh, that's just enough to kill it. That's more than enough to kill it. All right, so now my opponent is going to loot that when it dies, which is really cool. What it is is a CP that will allow them to get plus one uh, armor save, plus one to their armor save, and on a four up, it costs one CP, and on a four up, they get that CP back. Let's see what happens. No, so it did cost them the one. All right, plasma decimator, 2d6 shots. Uh, gonna be nine shots, pretty good. <laughs> Here we go, nine shots hitting on threes. Alrighty. Uh, strength seven, so wounding on threes. Okay, that's cocked one there. Uh, so now that is going to be one, two, three, uh, four wounds. AP minus three. Uh, no, this still goes through because of the, uh, even with the plus one armor. These guys are going to fire their bolt pistols into this squad over here. Uh, getting one hit. That is one moon, AP minus one, so that's a, that's a dead guy. And he's going to fire his pistol into the uh, commandos. That's a hit. Whoa, that is not a wound. That's what I get for knocking over his model. All right, so now that's it for the shooting phase into the assault phase. My, uh, my knight is going to charge into his uh, battle wagon. <laughs> I got it. Uh, he's engaged over there, so uh, mazel. His charge distance is a... All right, so now my knight's gonna attack into him over there. So we're gonna go with the titanic feet attack. So he's just gonna be trying to tap dance all over him there. So we've got uh, 12 attacks. This is three attacks per attack. So it's 12 attacks hitting on fours. Alrighty. These are gonna be strength users. So it's strength eight, wounding on a three. All right, so that's gonna be one, two, three, uh, four, five wounds. AP minus two, so six up saves. Uh, making one of them, so that's going to be four that go through, four D3 damage. Uh, getting three, four, five, six damage into him. All right, so now these guys are going to go, two of them, including my sergeant, are going to go into this squad here. The one guy's going to go into this guy over here. So we're going to go with the ones into the bigger squad. Hitting on threes, wounding on fours. Getting three wounds, three regular saves. Um, failing two. And then the two attacks into that knob over there, getting one hit, one wound, no save. All right, so now his commandos are going to attack into my intercessor over here. These are going to be hitting on threes, okay, and wounding on fours. No, wait, twos and threes. Yeah. He's in cover. Oh, threes because of um, strength strength four, right? Plus, yeah, plus one Strength four, plus one to wound, so because I'm in cover there, so it's going to be uh, wounding on threes so it's going to be three wounds so, wait twos what yeah this is oh that's a power claw my bad right, power claw yeah, yeah yeah so let's do the power claw save six ups oh make one fail one d3 damage oh he did <laughs> all right so now his uh oh, battle wagon i wanted to say battle bike but that's not even a bike i don't even know where that was coming from battle wagon's going to attack into my knight over here so he's got six attacks hitting on twos that's all but one hit. These are now strength uh, nine. So looking for threes to wound. Getting one, two, three, four wounds. Minus two. Four, minus two. So looking for five up serves. Uh, making three of them. That's how you do it. So one goes through. What's the damage? Two damage into him. All right. So now the boys over here are going to be doing their work. Hitting on threes. Come back. All right. Wounding on fours. Come back to you. All right, nine wounds, looking for three ups. Uh, failing three of them, so one's dead and one takes a wound. All right, so now the knobs, big choppers and uh, power claw, gonna be going on in there. Hitting on uh, threes and fours. Ooh, those power claws hit, that's usually trouble. So these are now gonna be wounding on twos and fours. Uh, it's plus strength. Uh, str uh, plus strength? Yeah, they're plus two to strength. Oh, plus two to strength, sorry. So it's uh, all wounds there. Let's do the power claws first. Sixes. Uh, making one of them. So the first one's going to kill a guy, and then it's D3. Does one wound. So then I've got four saves to make here. AP minus one. So I need four four ups for him to live. Uh, no, he did. <laughs> all right, so that is it for the uh, turn here. We will come back to you after movement phase for the orcs on turn three. All right, movement phase. His tank bus does disembarked over here. Uh, his uh, <laughs> battle wagon 
I'm never, ever gonna get this right. I've said it a thousand times. My opponent has said it to me a thousand times, and I will never get it right. I wanted to say like, like war buggy or something like that, which is, I think, is, that is a thing, right? A war buggy? Yeah, a war buggy is a thing. But no, I had to get it wrong every time. Battle wagon over here. Uh, backed out of combat. Beep, beep. And then uh, these guys moved up around here looking onto him. Uh, these guys have moved up over this way. These guys have moved up over this way. He's uh, running up against them over there. Um, over here, his other commando squad uh, deep struck looking on my scouts over here. What have they done to you? Literally nothing. Uh, and his Ludas stood still over here. So that is going to be it for the movement phase. We'll come back to you with the DACA phase. All right, so starting off the DACA phase, uh, these guys here are going to shoot into my knight. But they're going to be using extra stick bombs. Uh, which is uh, a stratagem for one CP, which means that uh, an orc infantry unit uh, can, uh, up to 10 models in the unit can fire grenade weapons instead of just one. So they're all gonna throw their tank buster bombs into my guy there, because there's a grenade weapon and grenade D3. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven guys in that squad. So we're gonna have seven D3 tank bo buster bombs. Uh, tank, tank buster bombs or something? Yeah, tank buster bombs, I was right. So here we go. D3 each. It's going to be 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 shots. Brutal! All right, here we go. 17 attacks hitting on fives. All right. So re rolling uh, to hits on these? Yeah, re rolling. Yeah, re rolling to hits first. All right. Re rolling to hits. Alrighty, pretty good. And then uh, Daka 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 means that he gets an additional four attacks. Alright, rerolling failed hits. Alright, that's really brutal. These are now strength eight, so these are going to be wounding on fours. Alright, so that is how many there? That is going to be two, four, six, seven. Seven. AP minus two, so seven five ups. Uh, <laughs> failing all of them. All right, here we go. So we've got seven D6 damage into my guy here. Uh, yeah, they uh, he is dead because that is three, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. He is dead. Does he explode though? Two D6 because he's one of them big knights. I'm going to spend my last CP to re-roll one of these. <laughs> oh, I wanted it so bad, though, no, so he doesn't explode. Bomp, womp. All right, these boys here are going to fire into my bikes over there. So we've got um, hitting on uh, fives. All right, those sixes get you some extra shots over there. So getting an additional four shots. All right, getting another hit. Doesn't explode again, though, unfortunately. Uh, so these are now going to be uh, wounding on fives. All right, getting three wounds. Three, three ups. Uh, failed one. All right, Ludas are gonna fire into my Inceptors over here. D3 shots, three shots apiece. 18 shots hitting on fives. All right, getting to roll more shots for those sixes there. All right, pretty good. All right, so we've got five uh, shots there. Strength seven, right? So looking for threes to wound. So we got two wounds. AP minus nothing? No, uh, one. Well, AP minus one, so looking for four ups. Uh, making them both with fill faces. Woo! All right, these dude bros are going to fire their pistols into my scouts over there. Five shots hitting on uh, fives. So that's one hit, not a wound. All right, that's it for the shooting phase. Into the assault phase, his big mech here is going to charge into my um, into my black knights, firing Overwatch, uh, getting no hits there. Uh, so now these are going to be uh, his charge distance is totally in. These guys are going to fire are going to charge into my scouts over here. So I've got uh, going to be shooting Overwatch over here. So we got ten shots hitting on sixes, getting three hits. Getting two wounds, uh, making no saves. So that's two dead guys and their charge distance. Plus one, oh, wow. 
All right, so his big mech's gonna start against my um, my dude bros, my, my black knights over there. So he's gonna have three attacks, hitting on threes. That is all hits, strength plus, strength six. So looking for threes to wound, getting two wounds. AP minus two, minus one, so looking for four ups. Uh, failed one, that is a dead guy. The commandos are gonna attack into my scouts over here. Hitting on threes. Nope, All right, uh, wounding on fours because they're not fully in cover over there. So there's going to be two wounds, two four ups. No, dead guys. All right, so my scouts are going to attack back. Two from the sergeant, one from each of the other guys. Hitting on threes, three hits. Wounding on fours, uh, three wounds. The no saves. Bomp, bomp. All right, so now my hunt master is going to attack back into his uh, big mech there. I've got three attacks hitting on threes. Uh, okay, that's going to be two hits. Wounding on um, uh, strength plus one, so strength five, so wounding on his tough four. Yeah, it's going to be uh, tough. Uh, looking for threes to wound. Uh, getting rerolling ones uh, because of the talent master. Uh, so that's going to be two wounds at AP minus one. Does he have any saves? Two five ups? No, takes two wounds. All right, so that is it for the uh, the orcs turn here on turn three We will come back to you after movement phase for the dark angels on turn four Yay. Movement phase all of these guys over here stayed still intercessor stood still dev over here stood still scouts stood still my reavers uh, advanced up that way my inceptors uh, uh, Didn't advance they just moved up that way my Talonmaster moved up over there, and that is it for the movement phase. So we will come back to you with the shooting phase. All right, my div squad here is going to fire into the tank busters. Uh, this is going to have the Signum. D3 shots. So that's going to be one, two, and then two here. Uh, so these are all going to be hitting on, uh, not going to supercharge, hitting on threes. Oh, this, this, uh, the Signum has to do separate. I forgot about that. So the Signum's one hitting on twos. All right, that's two hits. And then the two from the other one hitting on threes. All right, so that is going to be three hits. These are going to be wounding on threes. Uh, that is going to be three dead tank busters. And the bolter. That is not a hit. Pistol from here. Not a hit. Heavy bolters firing into the commandos. Uh, Rerolling ones because of Grim Resolve. Wounding on a three. Uh, <laughs> no wound. All right, the Inceptors are going to fire into his Ludus. Hitting on threes. Pretty, pretty good. These are going to be wounding on threes. All righty. Not as good that time. So that's going to be three, six, nine wounds. AP minus one, plus one because he's in cover. Uh, plus another one because he looted that uh, that uh, gun when it blew up. So, looking for five ups. Uh, failing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They did. Talonmaster is going to shoot his twin heavy bolter into the knob over there. And he's going to fire the twin assault cannon into these boys. The heavy bolter first. On fours because he moved. All right. Wounding on threes. Getting one wound. AP minus one. So he is onto the knob. He is dead. And now the twin assault cannon firing over there, hitting on fours again because he moved. Uh, pretty good. All right, wounding on, um, wounding on strength six, so wounding on threes. Not as good. So that's three wounds, AP minus one, that's three dead boys. Intercessor's going to fire into his commando over there. That's a hit. Twelve. That is not a wound. And then my master here is going to fire into them with his plasma. That is a hit. That is a wound. AP minus three plus two because they're in cover and they're commandos. So it's, uh, that's still dead. <laughs> All right, that's it for shooting. So into the fight phase over here. My, uh, my, ma uh, my uh, hunt master there is an attack. So that is going to be two hits. Wounding on threes. Uh, getting one with a six, so that's going to be a D. That's going to be D three damage to him with AP minus one. So uh, five up save you said, right? Yeah. Uh, good on a five up. And now he gets to attack back at me. Uh, getting two hits. Getting uh, two wounds. Uh, strength six, right? Yep. So two wounds. AP minus one. Four up serves. Uh, making one, failing one. So he takes a wound. Oh, two wounds. So he dead. 
All right, so that is it for the turn here. We've got one leadership test to take there. Three plus. Three is six. They are good to go. So that is it for the Dark Angels. Turn on turn four. We'll come back to you after movement phase for the Orcs on turn four. All right, movement phase. His tank busters and the uh, commando all jumped back into the uh, the party bus over here. Uh, so they are going. Then then the party bus moved up over this way. Uh, these boys moved up around over this direction. These boys moved up over this direction, and uh, his big mech moved up over this direction. So that is going to be it for the movement phase. We will come back to you with the shooting phase. Them boys are going to shoot into my intercessor over here, hitting on fives, getting two hits. Getting two wounds. Make it two saves. And now this squad's gonna fire into my Talon Master. He's, one guy's gonna throw a Tank Buster Bomb. He's gonna get one shot with that one. And these are gonna be hitting on fives. All right, sixes get to re-roll, or roll another one. Uh, so getting three hits with the regular stuff there. Looking for fives to wound. Getting one wound. Oh, but he fails it, what? All right, so now the boys and the uh, rocketeers inside there are going to shoot into my plasma bros over here. Red's going to be the rocket, so these are all going to be hitting on fives and sixes. All right, we'll come back to you. Rolling some DACA shots here. All right. All right, so wounding on fours and twos. All right, getting uh, two, two up saves. Good on those ones, and then uh, AP minus two on those, plus one because they're in cover, so looking for four up saves. Failing both of those. All right, that's it for the shooting phase. Into the assault phase, these boys are going to charge into my Talon Master. Uh, heavy bol uh, twin heavy bolter first, hitting on sixes. Uh, not getting, oh, getting one there, wounded on a three. That's a wound, AP minus one, that's a dead boy. And now the twin assault cannon. Uh, getting nada on that one, okie dokie. Their charge distance, uh, five inches should be in. And now his battle wagon's gonna charge into my intercessor, firing overwatch, not getting anything. He's six inch charge, making it in. All right, his big mech is gonna charge into my um, talent master and into my inceptors. They're gonna fire overwatch on sixes. Uh, getting, oh, only getting two hits this time. Wounding on uh, threes. Uh, that's two wounds at AP minus one. Yeah, he did. <laughs> the number of characters this squad can kill in Overwatch will surprise you. Click to find out. All right, so now his uh, his battle wagon is going to attack into you. I almost forgot it, but this yeah. battle wagon, I got it, is going to attack into my intercessor over here. Hitting on twos. All right, strength nine. nine. Wounding on twos. No. So that's going to be three wounds. AP minus two, here we go. Here we go, this is gonna happen. Minus two, looking for five ups. Show me three five ups! Oh, by one! And I'm out of command points. Oh, if I hadn't been so hubris of trying to blow up my knight, <laughs> could have gotten it. What would have happened? Oh, he would have been dead anyway. Or no, how much is the damage? What's the damage? Ah, oh, two, it is dead. You did well, sir. Valiant stand upon the Aquila. All right, them boys are going to attack into my Talon Master. Hitting on threes and fours. All right, wounding on, um, wounding on threes and uh, fives. Uh, these are the big chopper. So oh, big chopper? Like, yeah, because that's been strength. What does that become? It's not strength. It's strength seven, so that was still been in threes. Yep. So the big chopper, we got two AP minus one or AP minus two. AP minus one. AP minus one. So these are four ups. Uh, make one, fail one, and then we have four three up saves. Ha! Huh! Fail three of those for a total of four damage. Big Chopper's two damage, who does that? That means he's dead. That is so rude. So rude, does he explode? No. All right, so that is it for the, uh, that is it for the orcs turn here on turn four. So we'll come back to you after movement phase for the Dark Angels on turn five. All right, movement phase for the Dark Angels. These guys all stood still. These guys all stood still. My Inceptors moved up over this way and my Reavers moved up over this way. So that is it for movement phase. We'll come back to you with the shooting phase. Reavers are going to fire their uh, heavy bolt pistols into his orcs over there. Going to be uh, four guys are in range. Hitting on threes. All right, three hits. Wounding on uh, wounding on fours. 
Uh, that is two wounds at AP minus one. That is two dead boys. All right, my Devastator squad over here is going to fire into his, uh, into his, uh, uh, Battle wagon? <laughs> Never gonna get it right. Into the battle wagon. Uh, supercharging my plasma. So, D3 shots each. Getting three and two for these guys. So, we'll try the first one first. Hitting on threes. That's all hits. The next one. Two hits. And the third one. Uh, Rerolling ones because of the master there. That is all hits. These are strength eight, toughness seven. So looking for threes to wound. Getting four wounds at AP minus three. It's gonna go through, that's two damage a piece. That is eight damage down to two. And now my master is gonna supercharge into them over there. Two shots hitting on twos. Rerolling because of himself. Don't kill yourself. Okay, good. That's two hits, wounding on threes. That is wounds. That is four damage. It is dead. Does it explode? No, it does not. All right, so now uh, this squad of scouts is going to shoot into the boys over here. Uh, we're rolling ones because of Grim Resolve. They didn't move. So that is going to be five hits. Wounding on fours. Uh, getting two wounds. Two six-up saves into the boys. Yeah. Make it one, failing one. <laughs> Heavy Bolter is going to fire into the commandos. Uh, Rerolling ones because of Grim Resolve. Okay, not meant to be. That is a wound. AP minus one, plus two because they're in cover, so it's a five up. Ah, uh, failed dead. All right, my Inceptors are going to fire. Two of them are going to fire into the Rocket Boys. One's going to fire into the commando. So we've got uh, uh, 12 shots from the ones firing into the Rocket Boys. Hitting on threes. Wounding on threes. Oh boy. So we've got uh, four wounds at AP minus one, so six ups because they're in cover. <laughs> Failed them all, so they're dead. <laughs> and the six shots into his uh, into the commando. Wounding on threes. That is four wounds. AP minus one plus two because they're in cover. Four, five up saves. Uh, no, he did. All right, that's it for the shooting phase into the assault phase. My Reavers are going to charge into his boys over here. So we've got uh, Overwatch hitting on sixes. Getting two hits. Daka Daka. Getting still just the two hits. Uh, getting one wound. Uh, failed on the save, so that's one damage. So here we go. Here we go. The charge distance. Uh, five is not going to get him in. All right, end of the phase. They have to take a leadership test. They lost six, or they lost four. So four plus three is seven. They are good to go. So that is it for the uh, Dark Angels turn here on turn five. We'll come back to you after movement phase for Dem Boys on turn five. All right, movement phase for the Orcs here on turn five. Uh, his war boss and the uh, the boys here advanced over this way. Uh, these boys over here moved up over this way, and these boys over here moved up over this way. So that is going to be it for the, uh, that's gonna be it for the movement phase. We'll come back to you with the DACA phase. All right, Dem boys here are going to shoot into my Devastator squad here. These are gonna be hitting on fives and sixes. All right, getting another roll there because of uh, DACA DACA. Pretty good, not bad, uh, but that's not great. So one wound. Hey, but I failed. <laughs> and these boys are going to shoot into my Devastators over here. So uh, they are going to be hitting on fives and sixes. Re uh, rolling again because of that six. Not bad. Doesn't blow up again. Uh, getting one wound again. But can I fail it again? No, not this time. All right, this squad here is going to fire into these guys. One guy's going to throw a tank buster bomb. So D3 shots. Three shots. Hitting on fives and sixes. As well as the other ones, so getting uh, he gets a deck deck from that, and then a deck deck from that. All right, so that's gonna be two and one, wounded on two and four. All right, so that's gonna be one and one. AP minus two on the uh, that bomb, right? Mm -hmm. So looking for a five up on that one. Uh, nope, failed on that one. D six. D six. He did, and then uh, regular save on that one. He's good. <laughs> All right, that's it for the shooting phase. The uh, boys are going to charge into my Devastator squad and the Master. So we're going to go with the Devastator squad first. Uh, getting uh, three shots total here. Hitting on sixes. Not getting anything there, so their charge distance is in. Forgot about my Master over there. He's going to fire both profiles first to Plasma. Getting a hit. 
Getting the wounds. That's a dead boy. And then uh, the bolter. Uh, no hits from that one. And so they're all in. All right, so his war boss is going to charge into my master over there. And he's in. All right, so now this squad here is going to charge into my reavers. I'm going to throw a shot grenade with one of the guys there. That's three, three shots that are coming in here. Any of these are sixes? Uh, no, no sixes there. So now we've got six shots with the heavy bo uh, bolt pistols from the rest of the guys. Uh, that gets a couple hits. I'll take that. Wounding on threes. Or wounding on fours. That's two wounds. AP minus one. That's two dead boys. Their charge distance is in. All right, so now his war boss is going to start us off in the fight phase. He's got the relic uh, claw, which is not minus one to hit. Uh, it also makes it a uh, four to four wound for damage. Warlord trait makes Warlord him, trait makes him uh, uh, re roll wounds, right? What's he do? He's got all these things. So basically, he's not going to be minus one to hit with his claw. His warlord trait and his and his relic all combine to have his claws attacking in there, hitting on twos, re-rolling, uh, strength twelve, so wounding on twos, re-rolling. So let's see what happens here. Here we go. So hitting on twos, good. Wounding on twos, re-rolling. All right, so that's four wounds. Four, four up in vol serves. Ooh, I'm gonna. No, oh, it doesn't even make a difference if I use that. It's four damage piece, so that's a uh, 16 wounds. Uh, hold on, let me check his uh, his his codex entry to see if. No, of course he's dead. Of course he's dead. All right, the boys are gonna attack into my devastator squad. All right, hitting on uh, hitting on fives and sixes. Or hitting on threes, I should say. That was a lot of ones and twos. One wound. Yeah, he made it. <laughs> Woo! And now these guys are going to attack into my Reavers. Uh, hitting on uh, threes and fours. That's all hits. Uh, that is uh, mostly wounds. There was the, the five was a wound there. So we have the regular save. Yeah, he good. And then we've got uh, three that are at AP minus three. So three, six up. Show me down, Phil Faces. Make it one. So that's going to be two that go through. So one at a time, D3. Uh, two damage is a dead guy, and two damage is another dead guy. Going to have 16 attacks over here uh, for my guys into his bo boys over there. Hitting on threes. Pretty good. I'll take that. Wounding on fours. All right, get back here, dice. So we have... One, two, three, four, five wounds. Five, six ups. Uh, making two of them, but three is enough to kill them. And I'm a dead squad is going to punch back into them boys. In two hits. Getting one wound. Six up serve. That's a dead boy. All right, so that is it for turn five here. We're going to see if we go on to a turn six. We do not, so we'll come back to you with the results. All right, so in the end, even though he blew up that night, it still ends up being a Dark Angels victory on uh, on kill points there. So a brutal, brutal game with uh, some major swings there a couple times. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that was a ton of fun. I was really happy and excited to get my night out on the table finally. Uh, I was really proud of how he got painted because that was fun. Uh, and uh, it was really awesome to see the new orcs on the on the table. They're brutal. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. They were really, really, really brutal. I got some really lucky shooting, especially turn two. But uh, otherwise, it was, it was, it was, it was. They're pretty good. I think they're going to be. There's some really fun things that you can do with with them and, and pile up and, and do whatever. So I think they're going to be a force to be reckoned with. So I hope you guys have all enjoyed this. I certainly have. I have been Phil the Glacial Geek as always. My opponent's been Marcus. And until next time, have fun.